Hey guys, this is Locke. I'm going to go through some of my matches this past CM, and I'm picking opponents that are typically within the top 50 of uh, a class match season. This first fight is against Vinny. So this is the first time that I'm facing him in this class match, and I didn't really expect to uh, play this team. So I was a bit confused and hadn't really thought of an idea on how to beat this, like who's playing Pierce in this class match anyway, right? So anyway, as the match starts, um, I feel like I have a little bit of an advantage because I have 9 assist TMR, which gives me uh, charm resist. And I feel like this team is built around uh, Victor going forward to rush with charm. And then as a, as you're, you know, as somebody's charmed and you're trying to recover from charm by hitting them or, you know, basically you're losing a tempo hit. And during that time, uh, he rushes in and he basically wins. That's, I feel the idea. So I decided that I would use the 9S TMR at a turn, which would be really advantageous for me to take, uh, to, to turn the match. So that's what I was doing. So I was trying to figure out when he would be using his Keen Blade. I thought it would be this turn, but uh, it, it wasn't. Um, it would, I guess it'll be the next turn. So because of that, I decided I would use the, um, the curative uh, field, I think it's called, basically 9S TMR on the next turn so that he can't really advance he has to either you know kind of stand there or go back that was uh, that was my assumption so uh, i had planned to use the tmr next turn and i'm just kind of trying to see what he's doing he, he's probably thinking about whether he should be going back or not um it's kind of difficult for him to go back because i do have keen blade and i have a lot of range so it's not too difficult for me to uh advance in you know in three turns or something so here, um, I, I test my damage and then I say, okay, you know what? I will probably fight next turn. And so I use the uh, 9S TMR. So there we go. And now here is where I made my first critical mistake. So I'm safe from charm, right? But Victor, not only does she do charm, she also does a ton of damage. So that was uh, my mistake by not really accounting for her damage. I was like, oh, I, I've neutralized her charm threat, so I'm I'm definitely okay to, to approach now. And that's not really the case. Uh, my Keen Blade Mont is very slow, so I should have maybe not moved. Maybe I should have just kept him where he was or something like that. But because he moved, um, uh, Victor was basically able to take a double turn, and she didn't charm. She just did a ton of damage, which basically turned the tide, and I really wasn't able to come back from that. So that's really what happened. Um, so where, where is my mistake? Well, first, my first mistake is moving Mont. Um, I, I thought he might try to run away or something, so I had to, you know, move Mont up to keep the pressure. But by moving Mont, because he's so much slower than everyone else, that basically made it impossible for me to use another Keen Blade after he uses Keen Blade. Um, and, I mean, Mont was not able to do anything. Uh, if you, but I did notice that um, my Jaden almost one-shot Victra even through the shield. Um, with his jamming thrust so that was something good for me to keep in mind um so it's not too hard for me to kill victora uh but i just have to make sure that i attack before uh, before he gets a chance to you know b before he 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 advances i have to advance that's basically what i decided um anyway so that was that was my first loss to, of this class match and then um the next day i actually fought Vinny again and now I kind of knew to watch out for Victoria's range, like her damage, not only the charm threat. I was able to keep that in mind. So this time I decided that I would try to attack early. You know, I from the last match, I realized that Glacial uses Keen Blade on the third turn. Um, on the first turn, she kind of, she doesn't do any action. So it's kind of weird because I thought maybe she might do Keen Blade on the, on the second turn, but I, I don't know, maybe it's just a, a feint or something. But he... I mean, for the previous match, he did Keen Blade on third turn. So I decided to buff again. And then I decided to attack and advance early. And I realized that no matter what, Crowell was probably uh, going to get killed with one shot anyway. So I really needed to get his Dispel Spread off because that Dispel Spread is very vital because um, otherwise his units have 25% extra missile resistance, which would be very hard for me to attack I, I, I have some like you know missile resistance on Jaden but not enough and um, plus 25 percent missile resistance is, is a pain to deal with uh, plus I mean whatever else natural uh, missile resist that his units already have 
So I, I had to make sure that my Crowell would be able to um, uh, get his dispel spread off. That was that was one of the main things that I wanted to do here. So that was what I was going for. And also, uh, he also buffed everybody's spirit and defense as well with uh, the second buff from 9S. So I uh, decided to sacrifice Crowell. I mean, I assumed that Victor would go in and definitely, you know, kill Crowell. Um, I just had to make sure my other units would be out of range so that uh, I wouldn't get, like, I mean, Jaden can take one hit. Uh, so if Victoria did like a, you know, her leaping strike attack thing, then um, I would make sure that I can kill Victoria the next turn. That was that was the idea. So that was what I was um, waiting for, and I wanted to see what he was going to do. So um, in the previous match, he was able to advance with both, uh, you know, Glacella and Victoria. Uh, but in this match, he has to kind of keep. Glacial back because she has so little HP that she can be killed very easily. And um, I guess he didn't really want to use that leap strike to attack both of them because otherwise Jaden would attack her and probably kill her because she already took a hit already, right? So that's why he was in the air while Jaden takes a turn. And I decided to use Jaden to kill off um, 9S with the help of Mont because I knew Mont, you know, being an earth element, probably could do a lot of damage to 9S. So I wanted to kill uh, Ninus off, and if Glacial ever advanced, it'll be very easy to kill her. So that was the idea here. And so Mont goes, and uh, I was trying to see... I, I was trying to keep as much distance as I can as well, but uh, I mean, I, I definitely wanted to use Taunting Blade to attack both of them, so I was just trying to find the perfect spot for that. So um, th he can't really do too much, I think. Uh, I'll probably be able to kill him with either one of them. I mean, if, I, if you're trading one for one, I, I'm winning at this point. Uh, so I'm just trying to see what he's going to do. And um, yeah, so he did that. And so I was able to, yeah, I, I think he was hoping uh, to get the frostbite off and maybe he can turn it, turn it around. But I decided that, I mean, when Mont, even if, uh, you know, Jaden died at this point, Mont could probably take Glacella with, with the very little HP that she has. So that's what I was counting on. But I mean, I'm already winning at this point. I didn't want to take a unnecessary risk. I just decided I'll just wait for him to come because if he doesn't come, I'll already win anyway. So he comes and then I do a normal hit and a stone throw and uh, I was able to win that pretty easily. I only fought uh, Frostbite very few times this class match, but it is very uh, debilitating to play against. So anyway, this class match, one win and one loss against Winnie. So this player is actually, I couldn't find him in the top 50, but um, I lost to this player. So I thought I would, uh, you know, showcase this match. And the other thing is, um, I wanted to say that if you have an advantage, you should press forward. Because otherwise, if you give the other person a lot of room, they might actually be able to turn it around. Now, right at the beginning, his Jaden is stronger than my Jaden because his Jaden has 95% uh, uh, missile resistance um, and he's not using the defense brazier. So that's 95% missile resistance as long as he keeps buffing himself with the uh, sniper stance, whereas my Jaden only has 75% missile resistance. So um, as you can see, like he starts to advance right away. He doesn't want to let that advantage go and that basically rewards him. Um, because the only thing I can do, if he gets close enough, I can use Jamming Thrust on him. But even from far away, he can he can attack me with Jaden and he can heal up with Fina. So it's it, like I can't really wait for him to come close to me to use Jamming Thrust. So I had to go and somehow try to try to kill Fina. If I can kill Fina, uh, maybe I might have a chance. So that's that was what I was trying to do. That's why I was approaching him as well. But he didn't wait for me because you know if he waited for me, maybe I might have it, had a chance with like you know. I would I, I would get like a keen blade mont, uh, sorry use keen blade with mont and get a double turn and I don't know somehow kill um, uh, kill Fina that's that's what I was hoping, but he didn't fall for it like he he approached with Jaden right away and he just kept the pressure up. He wasn't doing that much damage. I mean it's you know it's still only like it's seventy five percent um, missile resist penetration. Sorry, at seventy five percent missile resistance. So it, he's not going to like one shot my Jaden. But he just kept the pressure up. He was taking shot for shot. Um, he can heal like very quickly with Fina 
where I only have Kira with Jaden, that doesn't heal for too much. So um, yeah, I mean, there isn't really too much else to say. He he knew that he had an advantage and he pressed on, took forward. You know, a lot of people say that if you're playing Rangers, you just camp on one side. But as you can see, both of us are playing Rangers and we are both trying to approach as fast as we can to, to, to try to get an advantage. So we don't really see that too often, I guess, right? Because most Rangers want to just kind of camp back and wait for somebody to approach. But if, if I did that, there would have been absolutely no way for me to win because the three units that I'm using would have a hard time killing Jaden because of his ridiculously high uh, missile resistance. Um, and even if I get it down to 75% because of dispel spread and then uh, you know try to chain or something, he can heal it all back with Fina and he can also full life with Fina. So it was a really hard match to, uh, to play against. So anyway, I mean that that's a uh, that's so he had the advantage and he basically pressed on and I also made a mistake here as well. I shouldn't have moved Jaden. I mean I, I accomplished what I was trying to do. I killed Fina, but then I made a mistake of moving Jaden next to Crowell. I should have moved it where I was thinking of moving originally because now he got to attack both of them with one. But even if I didn't make that mistake, I think I'd have still lost because Crowell is it's very hard for Crowell to do any damage to Jaden. And even Mont, like he can use stone throw for like very little damage, but to really, you know, get there and do a lot of damage, he needs uh, to get closer. And um, his Sakura can remove the remove courage from my Mont. So, you know, every way I think about it, it I don't think it's. It was probably a fight that um, was, an, like, where the cards were stacked against me. And uh, so this is the second loss of this class match season. I've played. 30 matches and 128 and lost lost the two the ones that the, the two that I showcased here um yeah and then he's casting rebel uh intention I think which completely destroys my mount and it's game over so for the uh next match I am playing against a player called Sumi he has always ranked pretty well in the past I think he's like rank 8 right now um anyway uh he said that he wasn't he, like this was uh the first time he was trying out this composition because the teams that he was using wasn't winning as often as he would like to um so anyway this is how this match went um so he's playing elena fina and revius so i have uh the nine ss tmr for charm so that was something that uh, i had to figure out the correct moment to use it um, and then I also have to make sure I keen blade at the right moment and you know try to neutralize his keen blade. So that was the two things that we were trying to do, like we had to figure out when to engage. Um, all three of my units actually do have a guaranteed hit uh, status effect. Sorry, not status effect, a guaranteed hit attack. So things like steel vision isn't going to impact me too much. Same with uh, Fina sparkle uh, sparkle shower, I think it's called, which which does minus accuracy. It doesn't matter too much to me because I do have guaranteed hits on all three of my units. Um, so I mean here I'm testing out damage. I'm gonna see what the hit chance is of uh, of Jaden and it's it's very low on uh, on Starlight Elena which I kind of figured anyway but I just wanted to wanted to check if you didn't catch it there it was just five percent to land a hit. Um, and then I was trying to figure out the turn where I would cast my uh, 9S TMR. Like I had to make sure he was close enough that it would be a little bit difficult for him to run away. Well, if I used it too early, he can just wait two turns until everyone runs out of it and then it approach, right? So I thought this was a good chance to use it um, because he seems kind of close and it seems like he's actually in range to do a keen blade move. So I wanted to use it uh, this turn, and you know that's what that's what I did. And I I wanted to see what he would do if he would continue the attack, or if he would um, you know run away and and wait. And it seems like he decided to to uh, to attack, like he wanted to get that double turn in. Um, yeah, and uh, and he also used dragoons. Uh, uh, Dragon's Pride. So I had to make sure that I use a Dispel Spread and hopefully I have enough accuracy to land that Dispel Spread to get that uh, that haste effect off because I don't want Ellen to get a double turn in between because if she does, I'm probably in, in trouble. Like he can probably one-shot a lot of my units. 
So that's what I was trying to do here. So I dispel spread to remove, uh, you know, to remove that effect. And then I'm also moving everybody back because she has courage and she will probably get a turn in between anyway. So I had to, first of all, make sure that my Mont will not be, you know, in the line of sight of Jaden. So Jaden has to take a turn to attack with this guaranteed hit. And then, you know, both my units have to run away so that they don't take any damage from Elena when she advances. So um, I, th I feel like the strategy was would be really powerful that my opponent is using, you know, um, mixing uh, Keen Blade with Kane's Tumor. That's, uh, you know, it's, it's easy to get a double turn in there with that uh, combination. And also, if I didn't have Ninus's TMR, um, he could have charmed any of any three of my units with um, with their IVS. So uh, I mean, I'm glad that I had the the TMR, but if I didn't, it would have been a very difficult fight as well. So here, I kind of thought I was winning, and um, this fight should be should be you know kind of won, <laughs> I guess. But um, uh, that's not really the case because he has Fina that has a full life, and I can't really. Um, you know, kill her right now. Um, and secondly, my uh, charm protection is also wearing off on my units as well. So with that, like he might actually be able to turn turn the tide here. So I was I was kind of worried. Um, but I think he made a mistake there by putting her in that spot because I could you know jamming thrust. I think if he was in a different spot, I don't know if he could if he could reach. I think if he was on the crystal and. Uh, and uh, cast full life. I, I don't think I would have been able to um, jamming thrust it. And also I was very lucky to miss that that charm because uh, otherwise I might not be able to kill Fina right away and I might have to wait a turn and she might be able to full life while I'm waiting and all kinds of stuff. So I was very lucky to, to miss that, um, that charm. But here, um, I made sure that my Crowell goes before Jaden because if Crowell is charmed, I would probably ignore it because Jaden has very high missile resistance. So I don't think Crowell will do a lot of damage to Jaden. If Jaden's charmed, I wanted to have, you know, basically do that, have Crowell at auto, auto hit him so that he knocks out of charm. Now, this is uh, another player that I faced. I think he's ranked like 24 right now or something. Um, he's very highly ranked as well. I, I really liked his team composition as well, and some of the ideas that he used was really interesting. Um, so he's using King Mont, um, uh, Gilgamesh, and Zazan. I actually was thinking I would see a, a team similar to this with like 200 cost units and a 20 or 30 cost units, but I haven't seen too many of those. Uh, but I, I, I was quite afraid of it. I, I thought it would be um, terrifying to fight against. So I'm glad that not so many people you know, did that. And I don't know, um, you know, what he's going to do because any of them could have Keen Blade. He might be using Transposition on uh, on his Gilgamesh, and then he might run in with Zazan, or like I don't know. It's all it's very terrifying because I don't know who has what. So that's why I use Keen Blade very early to try to set up and um, give everybody more AP and and just kind of stay out of range. Um, but thankfully, <laughs> it was not it was not one of those like big turns where he uses Keen Blade plus Transposition or something crazy like that. So that was good. Um, so now I had to I had to try to figure out, um, you know, like what he's going to do because uh, Gilgamesh has a lot of these like insane um, abilities, right? Like he has Transposition, he has Haste, as Quicken. Quicken is not, you know, you can't use Quicken this turn. But I don't know if he's going to use um, haste on somebody and get Zazan to run up, or if he's using transposition on on someone. And I I wasn't sure. But right now I had to deal with the King Mon threat, so I had to first of all remove the um, the dispel spread. If I didn't remove that dispel spread, I think he could have actually gone in and uh, berserked somebody. But because um, I was able to dispel spread it, um, I was able to use jamming thrust twice and and uh you know and kill king mont basically now with gilgamesh gilgamesh transposition onto zazan that was a pretty neat trick i think you know um like you basically use zazan's six movement range to get gilgamesh closer but he still couldn't be too close because you know i have high range 
but uh, he could use that to get Gilgamesh closer and launch an attack. I thought that was a pretty neat strategy. But um, I just have too much range for him to deal with at this point. And um, yeah, I mean, even if he moved Zazan in, I, I still have nine as TMR, which I haven't used yet. But I, if I don't need to use it yet, I'm not going to use it. So I was waiting to see when Zazan would be a threat enough to use. Um, and yeah, I mean, I was, I was basically able to just take them all down from range. Um, but I thought it was a really neat strategy. I mean, again, he used Keen Blade plus uh, uh, Kane's TMR to have King Mond advance really fast. Unfortunately for him, I had Dispel Spread to remove haste, so that saved me a little bit. But um, I thought it was a neat strategy, and also like the transposition plus um, uh, plus you know movement with Zazan, and then transposition, and then attack right away with uh, Gilgamesh. I thought that was a pretty like neat strategy. So I, I, I thought this was like, I thought this team was very well crafted. And um, I mean, he, I mean, he's ranked like 24. It's, 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 it's been working like way more often than not, right? So I, I just had too much range to deal with, I think. And um, I also had a keen blade as well to make sure that I, you know, uh, to to manage my own CT and also had dispel spread to remove his haste. Otherwise, I think he would have he would have won this very easily. But anyway, GG to all my opponents. Uh, had some really fun matches. I will see you in the next CMs. And to my viewers, uh, take care, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye now.